A radio receiver is the opposite of a radio transmitter. It uses an antenna to capture radio waves, processes those waves to extract only those waves that are vibrating at the desired frequency, extracts the audio signals that were added to those waves, amplifies the audio signals, and finally plays them on a speaker. antenna captures the radio waves. Typically, the antenna is simply a length of wire. When this wire is exposed to radio waves, the waves induce a very small alternating current in the antenna. IF amplifier, a sensitive amplifier that amplifies the very weak radio frequency RF signal from the antenna so that the signal can be processed by the tuner. Tuner, a circuit that can extract signals of a particular frequency from a mix of signals of different frequencies. On its own, the antenna captures radio waves of all frequencies and sends them to the IF amplifier, which dutifully amplifies them all. Unless you want to listen to every radio channel at the same time, you need a circuit that can pick out just the signals for the channel you want to hear. That's the role of the tuner. Detector, responsible for separating the audio information from the carrier wave. For AM signals, this can be done with a diode that just rectifies the alternating current signal. What's left after the diode has its way with the alternating current signal is a direct current signal that can be fed to an audio amplifier circuit. For FM signals, the detector circuit is a little more complicated. audio amplifier, this component's job is to amplify the weak signal that comes from the detector so that it can be heard. This can be done using a simple transistor amplifier circuit. Of course, there are many variations on this basic radio receiver design. Many receivers include additional filtering and tuning circuits to better lock onto the intended frequency, or to produce better quality audio output, and exclude other signals. Still, these basic elements are found in most receiver circuits. <laughs> 